In a work-related phone call on Wednesday, October 20th, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai kindly took time to address some important issues raised by our team members regarding Heaven's rules on who may transmit Master Power during the Kuan Yin Method's initiation process. For the Kuan Yin Method, sometimes Master would select certain residents and not other residents to do the initiation process. Yes. Um, why would that be so? Uh -huh, why? Because some are a little bit higher than the others and it's easier, okay? Ah, uh, yes. Easier to, to connect, easy to transmit the load of energy. Ah, uh, I understand. Yeah, if it's uh, too low, he might get into trouble. Uh. You know, a sudden influx of energy, even good things, you cannot eat too much. Oh, yes. Yeah, even vitamins, you cannot take the whole box, no? Oh, very yes, good. that's right. That's what it is. Some monks and nuns are not ready, yes. Oh. I understand. Principally, uh, can do, which is it's easier with somebody a little bit more elevated. Yes, I understand, yes, Master. Master. Mm. Master, with the Kuan Yin Method, uh, can anybody give the initiation instructions to others? Principally, yes, because it's not that person who does give the initiation, it's just the verbal instruction. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, Master Power is the one that in charge. Ah, uh, Master Power is behind it, yes. It's not the method, okay? <laughs> it is the Master Power infused with it. It's not just a verbal instruction. Verbal instruction just tell you to sit and, you know, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe close your eyes or something. Yes, Master. Don't make noise. Maybe don't move, but that, that, that is not the, the real thing, yeah? It's right. not the main point. The main point is a master's instruction, a master uh, power, yes. Yes. And master doesn't have to be there, okay? But there must be a, an, a physical presence. Yes, master. Just to help them to sit straight or something like that, yeah? Right, yes. To make sure they uh, sit in a better position, something like that, that's all. And... Uh, the power is from the master, yeah? Yes, yes, master. Yes. I understand. They report to me first who wants it to be initiated, and nowadays it's easier, yeah? Right. Every time there's initiation, they send me a list. Yes. Right. They ask for permission, and whom I accept and whom I don't accept. Yes. Yes, master. There are certain conditions and uh, regulations according to heavens and the universe. Uh, you, you have to know some of those things as well before you can give initiation. First, you have to ask Master's permission because that's a connection. Yeah, right. yes. yes. Also, the rule with the Master in this physical world is that people don't ask, you cannot give. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, otherwise I just uh, give to everybody. Yes, yeah. yes. That's then right. I have a lot, a lot of disciples. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, they have to ask, okay? Yes, Master. Not yes, because master. the Master is difficult, but the rule is like that. Ah, uh, okay. If the person who did the Kuan Yin initiation instructions mm. was not approved by Master, what would happen to him or her? If somebody just did it anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a very terrible burden oh. for, for that person. Mm. Without the Master's permission, you should not give initiation. At the time of initiation, we have told them to keep it to themselves only, yeah? Yes, right. Yeah. But if you somehow just don't listen to that and went out of your way because of your ego, yeah, because of your low level and give initiation to other people, then you harm both you, yourself and the initiated because your level is too low. Yes. Right. You claim yourself to be a master and you're not. Right. To be to give initiation, you have to be a master, okay? Yes. Yes, master. Designated by God and told by God or angels to go do it. Yes, mm -hmm. master. Yeah, for sure all that, yes. Or you rely on the master power by master's permission and instruction to do it because it's far away and it's more convenient for other people. So suppose somebody just went any, anyway and gave initiation behind the master's back. Uh -huh. Yes. And that person will be dragged to hell. Oh, wow. Because he didn't reach the level of the master yet. 
and went out all independent and didn't have permission. Right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. In this world, the rules are strict. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why even the master comes out. You have to humbly tell people and explain it again and again, patiently, yeah, humbly, and not to go out around and boast in here, I am a, a big shot in heaven, whatever. Maybe even say that, like Jesus say, I am my father's son, yeah? But it's not with the attitude of arrogance. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And it's, it's not uh, what you say about yourself. It is your knowledge that you are that. And you tell the truth without arrogance. Right. Yes. Yeah, it happened. You know, it happened in my lifetime also. That somebody thinks that just uh, uh, recite the instruction. Yes. Mm-hmm and uh, walking up and down like the Master does, uh, touching people's heads, and that is about it. Mm. There are vast treasure behind it. He did not learn. Yes. Mm. It's not just that. And even the one that the Master uh, assigned to give verbal initiation, instruction, he still not know all that. Mm. That's why you have to rely on the Master power to connect with the Master Power in order for the Master to teach more. That's right. So it is not a method. We just temporarily, in the worldly language, we have to say it's Kuan Yin method, but it is not the method that is the enlightening power. It's the Master Power. The Master has to be very high level in order to bear all the, the, the power from heavens in the physical body. Yes. And also, it's not honesty. You understand me? Yes. You claim that you are master, but you're not. You don't have any power. So his own karma falls back on him, and he also takes on other people's karma by initiation, then all of them go to hell. Oh. Mm. There's no help. Yes. yes. It's disconnected. Concerning the people who give initiation without master's permission, I saw it coming that they got sick. and. And they were bothering me a lot inside, you know, praying for forgiveness and all that, and even writing to uh, the all that group, asking for forgiveness. Master can forgive, that's easy. Just, you know, if the river forgives, that streamlet, little puddle of water is already out, cut off. It cuts itself off from the big river, so it's not united. So the river forgive or not forgive, that uh, little water puddle or stream, little streamlet still needs to go its course, you know, because it's too little, too weak. And then it has to be dirty or murky according to the surrounding of wherever that little water let or stream let go, and it won't be reunited with the ocean. And if that streamlet wants to reunite with the ocean again, then it has to start all over again. It has to evaporate, become the cloud, and then become the rain, and then go back to the earth again. And if uh, this uh, rain uh, group, lucky enough, to fall into the big river and then go to the ocean with the river currents. If not lucky, this group of rain water will fall on the rock, on the desert, on a thorny bush, and just go to waste and or suck into the earth and then have to start all over again. It takes a long, long time. Like from ABC again. Yes, mm-hmm. If that little bit of water can even start all over again or just disappear into the dry, thirsty, sucking desert and gone forever. Oh. You see, these people, if they dare do that uh, behind Master's back and proclaim Master's teachings and Master's method is his own, then, then, then his ego must be very big. Yes, for oh, sure. The ambition must be very vast. Yes, True, sure. Because it's so easy. Why, why don't we ask the master? Yeah, can I give initiation? Huh? Yes, yes, master. Yes. And then just, just, just give the names of the people 
And if he's good, I let him, okay? Yes, right. If not, I send somebody else. Why sneak behind master's back like that? Yeah, not good. So the ego and the low level. And that's what gives the Maya power over them, whoever. Yes. Uh, Concerning the two uh, people that have given initiation without first telling master, I kept warning them many times already. And they just dive deeper into their ignorance and arrogance and greed. It is the last time I warned them, I said they have to repent. At least their life will be saved. I did not listen. And then, not long after, they got sick. And then on the sick bed, they repent. Kind of late, you know? Yes. Right. Yes, yes, sir. So, if you really want to practice, you have to be serious so that the Master Power can lift you up, not lingering around some dark corner or low level area, just to get praised from other people or that they will give you something. It doesn't have to be money. Uh, ego and ambition, lowly desire, take many forms. All of you guys, be careful with the trap of Maya. It might look good for a while, but in the long run, it brings your ruin. Yes, uh-huh. yes. Just remember well, always remember God. Always render your service to others in the name of God. Because we are nothing. We came with nothing and we will go with nothing. We cannot claim credit for anything, let alone taking spiritual knowledge from someone else and claiming it as your, your own. This is really shameless. This is really too low life. Yes. Right. I hope all of you listen. This is serious, okay? It's not a game that you can play. Even just like if you don't know how to handle electricity, then just don't try. It's dangerous for you. Spiritual practice, aspiration, yearning is not a game for you to take in your hand for profit in any way. Profit doesn't have to be money. It's truly very ugly. Hope none of you will try that kind of stupid game. And harmful also, not just stupid. Harmful to yourself, harmful to others, because you don't have enough power to even cleanse yourself. But you don't practice well, you go in the wrong direction, in the worldly direction, in the name of charity or whatever not, just for your self-interest. And then you take other people, karma, associate with the world, people, at random, not choosing, their karma rub off on you as well. Your karma is enough to drag you down. Now you take more luggage from other people. I understand why the person who gave the initiation without approval goes to hell. Mm -hmm. But how about the people who receive the initiation? Seems like they may have also been maybe pure at heart to get the initiation. Why do they need to go to hell? Uh. Yeah, because their karma is not clean. Oh. Yeah? Yes. And because he connects with the hell person. Oh. They are connected with this hell master. They believe in him. Yes. So where the master goes, disciples go. Okay. You see, if anybody can be a master, yeah? Yes. (laughs) Then no need just one Jesus. Ah, that's right. And no need just one Buddha. Uh, mm-hmm. No need just one Guru Nana, no need just one Lord Mahavira, no need just one Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes, Master. And no need other Hindu master like Patanjali, for example, like that. Because they are commissioned by God. Yes. Uh, yeah. Krishna was with God inside. Yes, Master. Although outside he looked the same like us. Jesus didn't look any different from other people, except when you have the third eye open and you can see, you know, light around him all the time. Same with Kabir or other masters. Yes, Master. Oh, yes, master. 
they have this power. They can house it, just like a big cable. Yes. Oh, yes. Connect with a big electric grid, center grid. Otherwise, just any cable not connected, it looks the same, but it has nothing. Right. No power. And the master, if she he has chosen somebody to spread the teaching, then he's chosen. He will choose. He will choose his uh, representative. Yes. But they are with them all the time. Most loving Master, our immense appreciation for your giving us the greatest gift of all, that of initiation, your most significant and unconditional service to humankind as that of all other great Masters is and has been the unfathomable source of life for our world. We are in awe and pray that more and more people will receive this heavenly treasure and reunite with God within. Then we shall live in paradise on earth, knowing true happiness in humility and obedience before the Almighty. May cherished Master always be in vigorous health and enjoy utmost safety, supported by all celestial gosses. To hear Supreme Master Ching Hai's response to Pyongyang's views on President Trump's efforts to bring peace to the Korean Peninsula, as well as more of her insights on various other important topics, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples on Saturday, November 20th for the full broadcast of this phone call.